Version 1.1 of the Mad Pony Pi menu plugin is out. There are now eight eight-way menus, eight four-way menus, and a new type of menu that I'll get to in a minute. Under your settings, you have a new sub-palette called sliders. These are the sliders I included for you to control using the new slider feature. Apart from using your macros from the Pi menus macros menu, you can now use these sliders. You set them up in the same way that you set your macros. You have your names here, and you can just write down the names that you see here in your Pi menu. So if I set up, for example, a four-way Pi menu, and I write down one of these sliders here, for example, let's do focal shift and draw size. Let's do focal shift when I go up. and draw size when I go right. If I assign this to a hotkey, when I go up, I enter slider mode and I can control my focal shift. You have a representation here telling you the value and you can see that the cursor changed color. To exit slider mode, just click and drag. If I now trigger it and move to the right, I have control to my draw size. Now these H and V buttons determine what movement do you have to make to adjust this slider. So for example, if I come to focal shift and I turn this into a vertical movement, whenever I trigger my focal shift, instead of going right and left, I can go up and down and adjust my slider in that way. There are also four canvas navigation sliders. For example, canvas zoom will allow you to zoom using horizontal or vertical movement. And if I just turn these off, canvas pan H. For example, if I have my scene up there and I, and I trigger canvas pan H, I can pan on the, on the horizontal. But if I have this button pressed and I trigger canvas pan H, I can pan on the horizontal and my scene will be snapped to the vertical. Same goes to pan, canvas pan V. If I trigger my canvas pan V, I can pan on the vertical. And if center is on, I can pan on the vertical and my scene will be snapped to the center. Now canvas pan, wherever your scene is, even if it's not visible, it will be snapped to the cursor and you can pan on both ways. When in slider mode, you have a different color for your cursor and you can change this if you, by going to color, changing your color to something else. And then press this button under settings, set slider mode color. Now when I enter my slider mode, I'll have a new color for my cursor. Some of these sliders have an undo feature. For example, all the sliders under the deformation and morph target have this undo feature. If I go into my deformation and I use polish, you won't see a difference until I release the slider. If I use polish as a slider from my pie menu, as I change my value, it will create an undo and show me my new polish position. Once I'm happy, I can click and drag and I get my new polish. This happens for all the deformation and for the morph target slider. As new updates come out, I will include more sliders. Now coming back to these two-way menus. Two-way menus allow you to control two sliders at the same time. And I included three different presets. Slider Q, R and S. In this mode, you don't have to make any sort of movement. As soon as you press the key, you'll have control over your two sliders. So here, here for slider Q, I used canvas pan V for the top and canvas zoom for the right. These sliders will ignore these values here. So anything you put on uh, the first position will be controlled with vertical movement and anything you put on the second position will be controlled with horizontal movement. So if I trigger this slider right now, horizontally I'm zooming and vertically I'm panning. The other preset that I created was for focal shift and draw size. So if I trigger this, vertical movement will adjust my focal shift. 
and horizontal movement will adjust my draw size. Now to demonstrate this other one, we have bevel resolution on the vertical and bevel width on the horizontal. And if I crease my model and I trigger this, I can bevel on the horizontal and I can adjust my resolution on the vertical. You can overwrite any of these presets as you wish. These two-way menus are only for slider menus, so if you put a macro in here, it's not going to work properly. To install, simply drag and drop the provided Z startup folder to where you have your ZBrush installed and where you see your Z startup folder. So just drag and drop in there and says and click replace files in destination. In my case, I have I already have some of the presets installed, that's why I get this. You don't have to worry about any sets you already made, it's not going to overwrite them. The only new addition will be the three presets for the new sliders and an image for the logo. If you already downloaded this plugin, this update is absolutely free. If you haven't, the Mad Pony Pie menu is now $5. I'm working on future updates and hopefully version 1.2 will have some representation of what's available in your Pi menu. The objective is to, when you press a button, you'll see the different directions with the names of the macros or sliders that you want to select. Like I said, I also will include some more sliders and easier ways to set your sliders and macros. I hope you enjoy these new features and that you liked this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.